today I'm joined by Matt and Ross from Fond of Ruby who've joined me to chat about their musical career um, and their new EP too. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? All right, uh, yeah, I'll go first. Hello, I'm Matt uh, from Fond of Rudy. I am the singer and rhythm guitarist. Hi, I, I'm Ross, uh, Fond of Rudy. I'm lead guitarist. So it's nice to have you both on. Um, so how did you all meet? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I think me and Ross have known each other for ages, but been in different bands for a long time. And then going back a few years now, um, basically we started in a garage or an outside room, was it Ross? Yeah, outside room. Yeah, very cold in there. Very cold. <laughs> the spiders started writing some songs together. Uh, and then Ross knew the other guys and then they kind of joined from there. That's uh, Cy and Otto. Nice. Um, so yeah. how, how did you come up with the name Fond of Ruda? Uh, so <laughs> it's kind of uh, has two meanings, really. One very simple meaning is the cat's name. My cat was called Rudy. R.I.P. 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 We were thinking, uh, like thinking of a name and then cat walked in the room. And they're like, Rudy, bang, Fond of Rudy. We're Fond of Rudy, anyway. And then the deeper meaning is something like you're fond of someone, Rudy is the part of whoever you're fond of. So I'm fond of Rudy. You could be fond of Ross, fond of whatever. Yeah. That's like your, that. your pretentious answer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so you've just released your second EP too. Would you like to tell us about it? Uh, yes. Yeah, so this was kind of written over the lockdown period um obviously we weren't meeting as a band to record together so we had to do everything via emails and through zoom like we're doing right now um yeah that basically that's the way the songs were written so i'd come up with parts and then send it to ross ross would hear some parts on and then kind of develop the songs into that anything you want to add to that ross yeah um it's definitely like a new process because before we'd always like kind of really enjoyed meeting up in the studio and then if we didn't meet in the studio martin who uh well our previous producer so used to it, it, how can i word it it was just like quite a nice thing that we'd all meet up so work working remote was definitely different i still much i still favor the previous process a lot more um but obviously on this occasion it had to be done because of lockdown etc um and i had to, i had to start i mean i i'm a musician but i'm not very good on like logic and that matt i'll tell you that it's just not my thing at all so it was weird having to sort of buy an interface and sort of trying to bodge around the recording but luckily it got sent to a good producer who tidied up a lot of my sort of rough ends that i may have sent <laughs> so yeah but definitely a different process i mean because i'm I, i'm in Los Angeles as well, so um, it's kind of the, the way the process is working for the new EP as well. So, you know, I'm get, definitely getting used to it now, but I, I still really like going back and being with Matt and the boys in the studio a lot more. But, yeah. Yeah, different feel to it, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, so, what are each of your favourite songs from the EP? Uh, so, mine, I'd have to say, is probably the one that we're going to release in a couple of weeks time actually it's called infatuation that's probably my favorite off the ep uh just because it means a lot to me lyrically and yeah obviously i'm going to say the one that's about to be released to get people excited so. <laughs> yeah my, mine mine is the same actually uh, that was that was the first song that i that i heard of this ep but it's just been like it's just one of them choruses that really like cemented in my head and it's uh it's definitely yeah one of my favorite one of the rudy songs ever actually yeah Re really hooky track and i i i wanted it to be released first so i, I was like oh man it's, it's infatuation of course that's coming out first isn't it but you know obviously the way it's fallen it hasn't so i i hope this one goes down really well actually i, I think it will got a good feeling good excited to hear it um, <laughs> so how did you come up with the artwork 
So, uh, yeah, go that, on. Well, is that the main EP artwork? Sorry, because yeah, I, yeah, I done yeah. I done the twenty two artwork, didn't I? But then, yeah, you you come up with the EP artwork, didn't you? With that cool font. It wasn't actually me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fiverr. It was a oh. Fiverr. Basically, <laughs> you're not supposed to stuff. say that. Man. <laughs> No, but I need to find her Instagram really because she we tagged her in the artworks that we posted. She done really good work. She did. So you did twenty two. I think yeah. she did notes and the EP artwork and one more. So she's done a few of them. So you can kind of see a continuation in the in the yeah. art form consistency. Yeah, I really like that font actually on the the new EP. Really cool. So funnily enough. It's just arrived today. So yeah. nice. I like there that. It is. <laughs> mm. I like that. Yeah. First ever fond of Rudy Vinyl, was it, Matt? Was it was we've never done one before, have we? We did one as a competition for someone to win before, but we never actually yes. actually sold them. So yeah, this is something new for us. <laughs> yeah, and um Matt Matt will be throwing them in the crowd like frisbees at the next show. <laughs> <laughs> it's throwing away hundreds of pounds, yeah. <laughs> might be a health and safety issue. That, I was just going to say that might hit someone on the end. <laughs> yeah. If it's not got the vinyl inside, it might be okay because these are just paper. Ah, uh, yeah. Paper like cut. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what was the most difficult part about the creation of the EP? Oh, well, for me personally, it's what I touched on earlier because I'm just um, generally not that hands-on with doing like logic and stuff. Um, but then I think most of the difficulties Matt would probably know about a little bit more actually because obviously like he's done loads of vocals for everything, multiple guitars, I'm sure. Yeah. So it was a struggle, yeah. I think the most <laughs> difficult part was obviously you being in America, Martin being in London, and then we couldn't see each other in that COVID period. And yeah. I remember trying to do a session with Martin on Zoom. And we're both <laughs> using Logic as software, and it's like delayed, and everything's cutting out. And I'm saying, Mark, did you? And it's just, <laughs> that was just it was a nightmare. Yeah, we, we only did one Zoom session, and after that, we were just like, right, just send each other bits, and then write notes, send it again rather than try and do it live, it kind of fell apart, which uh, was probably the most difficult bit, actually. Uh, and then knowing yeah. when to release the songs as well, because we weren't doing any live gigs. No one was really doing any live gigs at that point, so we had to kind of sit on it for like six to 12 months. Gave us time to plan it and perfect everything. Uh, so, yeah, now I guess now that's coming to fruition. Yeah, I suppose that's also a bit of a struggle when you... You release something new that like you're proud of, but you've got to wait on to it for like nearly a year. It's like ah frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> <There it was. laughs> um so what have you learned from creating the EP that'll help you in the future? Uh I guess that we have the ability to keep releasing music even if we're not together at the same time. Like when Ross comes to the UK, we'll do together, we'll do loads of stuff, but we just keep churning it out. And yeah, that knowledge that we have the consistency to keep doing it. Basically. Yeah. Um, and we, you know, we've been working together for like eight years now. So we've got, we've got kind of a good thing going on and like a real honesty approach. Like if we send things to each other and we're not quite sure. And yeah, it just, it just, it all works well. We've got, we got quite a good bond between us all, you know? Yeah, and we kind of build up that thick skin from our first uh, recordings. Yeah. We're like, I don't really <laughs> like that guitar line. I don't really like that bass or something. And then you don't take it to heart. You, it's, yeah. It's constructive. Sort of <laughs> what is that? That's awful. What? That was terrible. Do that again. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what memories will you take away from the whole process? Uh, that's a good question. I think probably the new songs will be, obviously they'll live on from creating this EP and the reactions that we've got so far from 
from the singles we've released, especially How Do I Delete You? They've been really positive. Um, so I guess I'd take away that us releasing music is still going down well and like we haven't just disappeared into a black hole we we are still here and come back to release music again yeah i'd agree with that because many people many bands like come and go or like sometimes some bands can't get through the bad times or you know but yeah we're just kind of still rolling out even if i'm here you know never dies <laughs> yeah no we just we enjoy making music that's that's why we do it really so yeah. the main premises for it yeah so finally what's next for you well matt's just sent me a load more demos um <laughs> that i've got to uh <laughs> i've got to go over some stuff so i know that matt and the boys out in uh the uk are trying to smash through as many uh, gigs as they can uh, probably booking up for festival season soon and this end in America I'm just hoping to finish off a lot of these recordings that, that Matt sent or, or kind of shape them in a way to move them forward a little bit more yeah that's everything this end yeah I think yeah next for us like Ross said is lots more music um, I send him about three or four demos every week and just overloading him with music that he can't get to in the space. Keep him busy. 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But we've got our next few releases lined up. And yeah, once this release is all done, we'll be planning the next one, which will be EP3, of course. Just continue releasing music, basically. What, what we're saying, we never die. We, you know, keep going. Even... <laughs> I like it. And I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming for you. It'll be good. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully we have a gig up in um you're a member, so aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we have a gig up that way soon. So Yeah, definitely. <laughs> a massive thank you, Matt and Ross, for joining me on Totally Music. If anyone would like to check out Bond of Ruby's music, I'll leave all the links in the description below for you. But thank you. Thanks no for problem. Thanks. Good to see everyone. We can still not explain no